All right, so the top most overrated WWE superstars right now, not of all time, but right now, in the WWE. Uh, there's a lot of them, so uh, here you go. Number 10, John Cena. A lot of people would probably think this guy would be higher up on the list, but, you know, not a lot of people really like him, you know? I mean, he gets booed a lot. <laughs> you know, it, there's rarely a time when you see, like, like, he gets cheered. So I don't consider this guy overrated. You know, people think he's bad, you know? Most of the people on the internet, the IWC, and most of the real wrestling fans think that Cena sucks, you know? It's only really the kids that like him, you know? So I don't really consider this guy overrated. You know, he's a decent wrestler. You know, people like to say he can't wrestle, but that's not true. He's had some really good matches. Uh, Punk on Raw. He's always had great matches with Punk, you know? Those two are like, you know, Rock and Austin, you know, except like they're not really as good as those two. You know, Punk's probably as good as Austin, but Cena's not as good as Rock. But yeah, these two like, you know, you always hear about Austin and Rock, how they brought the best out of each other, you know. Same thing with Cena and Punk, that's what I'm trying to say here. So yeah, number 10, John Cena. Number 9, Alberto Del Rio. Now this guy, uh, he, he, has, he wasn't that good as a heel, he's even worse as a face. You know, a lot of people like him for some fucking reason, you know. He's an average wrestler at best. You know, I don't know. You know, I heard he was like a luchador, you know, style. He does do luchador style, you know. And WWE doesn't let him do that for some odd reason. But, yeah, they're holding him back a little bit. You know, a lot of bit probably. You know, it's hard to tell because you don't know how good he could wrestle. Because you haven't even seen his luchador style ever in WWE, you know. But he's not a good wrestler as in WWE right now, as WWE portrays him to be with his basic wrestling style and moves. But, uh, yeah, he's, he doesn't kick good promos either, really. He didn't as a heel, he doesn't as a face. So, and a lot of people like him. Not a lot, but there's people out there who like him for some odd reason. But, yeah, number nine, Alberto W. Number eight, and this may come to us, come as a shock to some people. Roman Reigns of the Shield. Now this guy is uh, definitely the worst person in the Shield. Ambro, you know, I think this guy is like looked as really good because he's paired with two great people and w two great entertainers. Uh, and Reigns is, I think, I hate, I hate how he just goes around the ring yelling all the time. You know, after he doesn't move, he fucking screams. And um, he's an all right wrestler. He's not anything great. You know. What happens is like the Shield will be in a six man tag and it'll be like a great match So everybody will be like Reigns did great great wrestler because it's a great match, you know, but he's not a great wrestler uh, But he needs I you know, you haven't we haven't really seen him on the mic yet So until he proves himself on the mic or until he shows something like really good You can't say he's good, you know, and a lot of people like him but yeah, he's overrated definitely. He's not. He's like Biggie Langston almost. Uh, I see him, you know. Biggie, uh, and Biggie and uh, Roman Reigns are very identical, you know. Maybe Reigns is a tad bit better wrestler, but not by much, you know. So yeah, number eight, Roman Reigns. Number seven, The Big Show. Uh, this guy is very, very bad, you know. I'll, I'll, you know, I tweeted out like, why is The Big Show still in WWE? And a lot of people are like, because uh, he's very, because he's athletic, because he's, cause a lot of people respect him, or some shit like that. And I'm like, when's the last time this guy wrestled a five-star match? And they're like, yeah, never. <laughs> so, yeah, this guy isn't a good wrestler. He's awful on the mic, you know, he's awful in the ring. So I'm, there's nothing good about him, you know. Back when he came into WWE like 20 years ago, or WCW, 20 years ago, he was alright, he was better. But now he's just fucking stale as shit. He's fucking slow in the ring. The big slow. You know, that's what they like to call him nowadays. Because he's fucking slow. You know, whenever he's wrestling a match, the announcers are like, Oh, this is Big Show's pace. Slow and monotonous. You know? They, they say he's slow in the ring. Because that's how he likes to keep the pace. But he's really monotonous and boring in the fucking ring. Number six, Kane. A lot of people like to defend this guy. He's fucking, I think, 46 years old been in WWE for too long. He's washed up. His character is fucking awful. A fucking de demonic monster from hell who uh, hugs people 
and likes people. He, you know, he likes everybody in the fucking WWE. You know, Daniel Bryan's fucking telling him, I am not the weak link. And he's pretty much saying, you're the weak link, I'm better than you. And Kane just like, he's not doing anything about it. You know, back in the day, you know, Kane would kick Daniel Bryan's ass. I mean, but a lot of people like to say he's a good wrestler. You know, I, I, he's not a good wrestler. He's hurt people. He's hurt CM Punk before Mania. He's hurting Cody Rhodes with that back uh, back body drop. I think that's what the move was called. He, he botched it or something and hit Rhodes on his neck. Um, but this guy is overrated. Not good. Not good on the mic, really, you know. He sort of had a, a good anger management segment. It was really good, actually. Best, probably the funniest segment of the year. Uh, you know, I saw in Bleacher Report, they ranked it as the funniest segment ever in WWE. Like, who the fuck wrote that? But yeah, this guy is definitely overrated. Um, number five, The Miz. Okay, Miz. <laughs> what a fucking awful face is, is Miz. You know, he was really good as a heel. You know, a cocky, arrogant heel. He, he strived as a heel, fucking on top of the world, main event and mania, beating John Cena. You know, nobody beats John Cena, especially at mania. Uh, he's at the top of the world, you know, and now he's fucking main event and pre-shows. Yeah, he went from main eventing manias to main event and pre-shows. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, you know, this guy, he's an, he's an alright wrestler. At, at best, um, he's not good on the mic. The Miz TV is fucking awful now. Uh, but a lot of people like to, you know, on fucking Twitter, it's the fucking hashtag. Number one hashtag in the world yesterday is the Miz deserves better. I tweeted something. Get the fuck out. The Miz deserves better. Daniel Bryan deserves better. Uh, and I got like eleven retweets. So obviously, a lot of people agree with me that Daniel Bryan deserves better. But there's also a lot of people that think Miz is the, the king of WWE and he should be on top. Number uh, number four, Wade Barrett. Oh, now this guy is, you know, this isn't, he's just like Miz almost. Boring on the mic, not good in the ring. You know, maybe alright in the ring at best. Average, I'll call him in the ring and that's being generous. A lot of people like to say he's, he should be world champion. You know, I just don't see it. I mean, what's what's this guy got? You know, what do, what is what do people see in him? You know, he's fucking sucks. You know, maybe not fucking sucks, but he's pretty bad. You know, you know, a lot of people really do good as a heel. You know, it's like easier to get over as a heel, I would say. And Barrett hasn't really done it. You know, he got a big pop on Raw against uh, Miz after Mania, but that, the Raw after Mania, but that was just because it was Miz, you know, Barrett's not good, you know, in my opinion, he fu he sucks, you know, I don't even want him in WWE, he, he's the IC titles, he's the IC champ, and he's not even fucking winning any matches, so I don't even want him in WWE anymore, you know, if you're not gonna fucking do anything that time, just get him the fuck out of the company already. Number three, The Rock, oh my, people like to defend this guy, he fucking sucks in the ring. Go back and watch his Elimination Chamber matches. His Royal Rumble match against CM Punk. Oh my god, were they fucking slow as shit. Botch field matches, you know. You know, Rock couldn't even perform a suplex. You know, if CM Punk was trying to perform a suplex on Rock. And Rock couldn't even jump up to deliver the suplex. Are you fucking kidding me? And people like, and his promos suck. People like to say his promos are still as good as they were in the Attitude Era. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking uh, talking about crackheads, you know. People are like, oh, that's TV 14. That's funny, you know. Yeah, it's not funny, you know. He talked about crackheads in fucking sixth grade, for God's sakes. And then you get the, where he got the candy ass from, the catchphrase. And I can guarantee you. That that didn't come. That that story was totally false. You know, he hit a grandma or some shit like that. Are you fucking kidding me? And this guy, unless you like rest holds, you know, in a match, and botches, you know, which I can understand because there's a lot of retards in WWE right now. So unless you like botches and uh, uh, fucking rest holds, I don't get how you like this guy. You know, he's fucking terrible in the fucking ring, he, and he fucking. Just cares about himself. Comes here to promote his movies and that's and then he fucking leaves like a fucking pussy. 
you know? He doesn't even want to come to Raw to get beat up by Brock Lesnar after he, uh, fucking, uh, gets injured. Supposedly gets injured. You know, I'm still standing by the, by my, uh, opinion that he fucking didn't get injured. You know, I think that hospital photo was fake. I, I don't think he got injured. I, I just don't buy it. You know, I think they're trying to fake it. I don't buy it, you know. Maybe he got injured a little bit, but I don't think it was like a tear off the bone or whatever it was called. Number two, Triple H. Now this guy is a fucking egomaniac. He's not willing to get anybody fucking over, you know. He, uh, remember uh, CM Punk he beat? He buried CM Punk, you know. What the fuck is that? You know, he just wanted to beat CM Punk to say I'm better than you, CM Punk. And he's not. He wasn't. You know, the fastest rising star in the fucking company at the time. Probably in a long time. You know, this guy, everybody was cheering for him, you know? Remember the night before, the Raw, Raw before Night of Champions? And everybody was fucking cheering for CM Punk, and nobody was cheering for Triple H, you know? I mean, Triple H fucking buries him. You know, it was a good match and all, but Triple H fucking buries him. Are you fucking kidding me? And then he can't, he can't wrestle. He wasn't willing to put over Lesnar at uh, Mania, you know? He's not willing to put over any fucking person in WWE. You know, not even Curtis Axel. He fucking doesn't even put over Curtis Axel, a younger talent. You know, get the fuck out of here, Triple H. Can't even wrestle anymore. Yes, he had a good match at Extreme Rules, but that was just because it was with fucking Lesnar. And it had a fucking sledgehammer in it, you know. You know, I give him credit, you know. He, he did have a good match. But after that, he fucking buried Curtis Axel. You know, he, he didn't really bury him, but he didn't get him over. You know, that's, isn't that your job when you get older to fucking get people over? You know, you got Chris Jericho, somebody who's actually still good. <clears throat> fucking beating, losing to everybody except the guys that are good. And that makes no sense. He lo loses to Cesaro. He, you know, he beats Cesaro, Cody Rhodes, you know. And then he loses to fucking Fag Dango, you know. So, Triple H, Eagle Mania, can't wrestle, can't really talk. You know, number two, can't. You know, fucking overrated. How can you like this guy? You know, fucking awful. Number one, Randy fucking Orton. This guy is just fucking, really, a lot of people like this guy. You know, I don't see why, you know. He can't cut a promo for shit. You know, even as a heel, he's not that good at cutting promos. He can't wrestle for shit. You know, fucking on SmackDown, he's wrestling Dean Ambrose. You can't even have a good match with Dean Ambrose, you know, you, you know you're really bad when you can't have a good match with Dean fucking Ambrose. Oh my god, you know, Dean Ambrose has been having great matches as of late, and Randy Orton fucking can't even have a good match with that guy, and people will still say that he's really good, you know, people will still say, you know, I listen on uh, YouTube to this TV tracks, you know, that's what the fucking uh, name of the channel is. And there's this one fucking video that says uh, that Randy Orton's a fucking machine. <laughs> He's definitely not a fucking machine, you know. He produces shit matches. He doesn't even care. You know, he wants to be a heel. But if you're not a fucking heel, fucking deal with it. You know, fucking prove that you could be good, you know. What, it doesn't matter if you're a heel or a face, you know, about your wrestling ability. That's not going to change your wrestling ability. So, uh, you know, I'll fucking prove that you could do so something. And then maybe they'll turn you heel. You know, all he does is complain about, I want to be heel. I want to be heel. You know, I know they're not turning him heel. And I bash WWE for not doing that. Especially because everybody wants to see a heel turn. But fucking deal with it, Randy Orton. He done fucking drugs twice. So, you know, I think he should just deal. You know, he's, he should be lucky. He even has a job right now. You know, they should have just fired his ass, you know. He's a fucking drug addict, too, you know? Fucking two times with drugs, you know? I hope he gets cut a third time so he gets fired. But, yeah, so there you go. The most overrated stars. And they're superstars in WWE right now.